Okay, you guys all know what a big fan I am of the Shitoko Revival Project. Uh, it's basically a creation in a Seto Corsa of the Tokyo Freeway System. Very cool, a lot of fun. Um, they've been working on an update, um, 09.3, yeah, 0.9.3 release, um, stable version for quite a long time. In fact, I ran an earlier version of that, uh, I think, early in the year, like in January. Um, they didn't have traffic worked out, had all sorts of weird bugs and stuff. So stable version remained at 09.1. Um, and so now um, this release has some cool stuff. Uh, the Shibuya crossing is complete. The Shibuya station and surrounding area is complete. The, the Route Y is now complete, but really they added a whole bunch of other cool visuals like 3D trees, um, a new model for the Tokyo Tower, a new illumination for the Tokyo Tower and the Rainbow Bridge, and then uh, improvements to materials, textures throughout the track, and several other graphical fixes that make it a lot nicer. Mount Fuji and distant terrain should now be visible. I haven't seen that yet. should be kind of cool if we, we venture that direction. Um, and... Uh, some other gameplay performance and some other miscellaneous fixes are all included in this. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd uh, just give a run through and drive through and have a little bit of fun, um, show some of the new areas, but also test out a new um, map that uh, I installed um, from uh, from online. Um, it's not the default mapping, but it allows me to actually see the full freeway system and see where I am on it, which is kind of fun. Um, and I don't think this is a new plugin per se. It's new to me, um, as they say. So let's go ahead and get in the car and uh, go for a little drive, have a little bit of fun. Um, this is, of course, the GT3 um, RS Porsche um, that I like to drive, um, just because it's easy to drive, mostly because it's easy to drive. Um, there are a lot of really fun cars to drive in Assetto Corsa, as you guys probably already know, and the modeling is, for the most part, uh, pretty decent, pretty fun, um, and this is no different, um, but I really like the free roam tracks, um, and uh, this is fun. So what we'll do is uh, we'll head out here and we'll head to the Y route. It's not a very big section. And, uh... So I don't know if you can see the map. I'm the little blue dot, um, that's up there. And there's some traffic, uh, it'll be orange dots. Kinda nice to be able to distinguish where you are on the track. So the Y route is a complicated loop. We'll take just part of it and kind of look at it and see what it looks like. I want to go up here, yeah. I love driving this because it's it's just it's fun. The visuals are pretty cool. So we are on the the Y route now. I like to scrape that wall for some reason. D trees. Trees look okay. We're right at dusk. We got a pretty incredible sky up there right now. Going ahead and go up to the Shibuya. It's 
kind of a little scary section there. I hit that the first time the other night and got airborne and bounced off the wall like twice. Which did not do my car very well. Traffic is always fun, if it behaves. It can get a tad weird sometimes. left here. a pretty nice Audi, it looks like. So I want to take the three here and go out to uh, the Buya station. Occasionally, traffic will just jump out in front of me, which is not fun. I think that this has been pretty much the same for a while because I think that this was this whole section was darn near complete when I uh, did this the last time. Pretty cool. Eh, 
And we all get to turn around. I don't know what this is. stutter there. Kind of nice. I haven't been down here. I guess it's just a. Uh, I just went around the block. So, <clears throat> it's been an embarrassingly long time since I have uh, done any streaming or recording, um, and a uh, large part of that is uh, I bent a rod in my brake system again, and as I repaired the, I ordered a new pen, replaced it, did like I did the last time that happened. and uh, um, discovered a huge hydraulic leak and uh, explored some options. Um, gonna be basically the equivalent of replacing the, the system to repair it. So uh, I opted to uh, invest in a new pedal set. And uh, so I haven't had a lot of driving time. I haven't driven in like a month um, and uh, work is uh, picking back up again for me so haven't quite had the time to uh, spend with this pedal set quite yet that I'd like before I start doing competition which is one of the reasons I'm doing the free roam um, figured that this would be kind of a fun way to just sort of goof off for a little while test out the pedals and have a little bit of fun while I'm doing that I do like them I'll talk a little bit more about them uh, once I've driven with them for a little while. Oof. I'll, uh, I'll tease a little bit and just say that they're they're very active. Getting a little bit more feedback 
in the pedals than I'm used to, which is uh, interesting. Um, also have a high degree of uh, customizability, is that a word? Words don't own me. Um, a lot of different configurations that I can do and uh, a very specific feel to the driving, which is, is good. Okay, those trees are freaking me out. Is that, like, normal? It's like uh, something from Lord of the Rings and the tree people. Um, so we've seen the Y, we've seen the Shibuyu, so there's nothing new other than some of the lighting and stuff in some of the various places. So we'll drive around for a while and just sort of see what we see. Like I said, I haven't fully explored uh, the build and all of the, the feature sets uh, since the release. And I think they released it this weekend officially and got the traffic working and everything. So I, uh, I don't like to drive this without the traffic. It, it's a little too eerie being the only car on the road. Although it's easier to drive like a nut. Although they stay out of the fast lane for the most part. almost scary. I think that that was actually a pit.
like I should do a PSA. Do not drive like this in real life. I'm a trained professional in a simulator. on another opportunity to get on the Y route again. I hope they continue to expand this because it's it's just so much fun to sort of drive around and find uh, new areas. I know this is kind of goofy. It's probably not very exciting to watch either, but uh, I wanted to at least showcase the new build. I'll put links in the description uh, to uh, uh, the Shutoko Revival Project and uh, this new stable release. Ooh, we just saw a car accident. Um... But it's it's a lot of fun. It's worth. Where do I want to go? Do I want to go this way? Yeah, I want to go that way. Um, but if you like Assetto Corsa and you have it installed, um, this is a probably one of my favorites. If well, it's probably my favorite. Uh, free roam. Um. There are a lot of free roams out there. There's Pacific Coast Highway is a lot of fun. Um, there's LA Canyons, which is a lot of fun. Um, and there are a few others that are, are quite cool. I think that there are a couple of uh, European ones that are fun. on the Y route again. And it's got a real name. I just don't want to try to pronounce it. My Japanese is not all that good. Now what's really cool about this, uh, like a lot of stuff in Assetto Corsa, I guess, I've not explored it thoroughly, so I don't know a lot of what I'm talking about here, but they do have uh, uh, Shutoko Revival Project um, servers that you can join um, with groups of people and drive with live people rather than AI. And that sounds like a lot of fun, but I, I'm sure it also can uh, devolve into some really interesting behavior as a lot of open servers can um, but uh, I've tinkered with the idea of uh, putting up some infrastructure of my own and hosting some free roam stuff I have not done it yet um, and I'm not promising that I will but uh there's some really cool stuff. Like, there are actually uh, some awesome, like, old tracks. There's some 60 Eras race cars, 60 Eras tracks. Uh, there's some uh, cars from earlier than that and tracks from earlier than that. That uh, There's a channel, I'm spacing on the name of it now, that is... Uh, to go right? Yeah, I want to go right. Um... that does a lot of uh, historic racing. And uh, he did some things from like the 20s and 30s that were fun. Actually, I'm 
feel like I've gone in a circle. I have gone in a circle. Not a very big circle either, given the size of this uh, open map. But, uh... But yeah, I wanted to showcase this and just sort of, uh... Show some of the updates. It's, uh, Tokyo Tower. It's kind of cool. But if you like free roam driving, it's kind of fun. If you'd be interested in me setting up a, a, a server, um, post a comment to this video and uh, say, hey, I'd be down if you did it. And um, I'll explore what, uh, what it takes to get that set up. And uh, maybe we can have some, some group fun. Um, that's always, always fun. We can... Uh, do some racing around uh, the Tokyo freeways or uh, LA canyons or Pacific Coast Highway. I have some open fun. Sometimes it's fun to just have fun. You don't have to race. You don't have to, you know, spend a lot of highbrow time just going around driving. And you can drive as fast or as slow as you want. I'm, uh, I'm not tearing ass around here. I'm trying to keep the car under control. It's like I'm trying to pretend this is my real car. Or a car that I've rented in Tokyo. I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't... Well, I couldn't say that. I am driving a little more recklessly than I probably would in real life. But you shouldn't drive and break speed limits and stuff like that. Although, you know, that's what... The fun of a sim actually is, I think. It's being able to exercise those demons without hurting anybody. But I think that might be fun as uh, kind of a fun social outing uh, with anybody that's got... Uh, Set of course installed, or if you don't have it installed and want some help, kind of figuring out how to get it set up and configured, uh, I can offer some help with what I've done. Um, mine's running a little funny right now, and that I'm getting a lot of stutters. But uh. got a lot of uh, cool stuff installed and I just found the the, the map upgrade um, that I'm really happy with because one of my biggest pains was I have a side monitor here off to my right that I don't, don't think you can quite see um, and uh, I used to ha pull the map up on that but then that blocks my view of my recording stuff and my discord and other sorts of stuff that I like to have open while I'm driving as well so it's nice to have the map up on the screen uh, and to be able to share it um, with you guys when I'm recording so you can kind of see where I am and what's going on. I'm coming up here in the top left-hand corner of the map. like exploring the corners. <laughs> First time I drove this, I didn't have a map. I was just driving it. And I got kind of confused and turned around and did some loops and <laughs> wasn't really sure what was going on. Oh, one of the th other things they added, I don't know if you just saw it, I passed it, um, is they added... Uh, some turnabouts, some breaks in the fencing, so that if you're going the wrong way and you don't want to go all the way up to where you know a turnabout is, you can take the cut in the fence and do a, a U-turn. 
I don't know if those exist in real life on the... Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, boys, you can't occupy the same space. There we go. Come on, buddy. So they did some improvements to the AI that if they get stuck in one position for too long that they will uh, automatically despawn, disappear. Um, I read something briefly about that, but I, it's the first time I've seen it. What's usually irritating is the cars behind you will uh, oftentimes get impatient and will uh, run you over <laughs> because you've stopped. Looks like we could stop for the restroom here. Um, we needed to go. Well, we'll call that a night. I don't need to continue to uh, drive around and bore you guys senselessly, but if you enjoy this sort of thing, um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this. And uh, let me know about uh, a set of course of server. If it's worth doing, I um, can definitely try that out. And uh, see where that takes us. Maybe we'll have some fun together online. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching this much. Um, again, um, Shutoko Revival Project. Uh, this is uh, 0.9.3 stable with traffic. Um, so really easy to install. If you already have a set of Corsa up and running, um, it's using the pure um, weather system. So if you have that installed, that'll work out really well for you. Um, and I'll put the links to the project uh, downloads, all that stuff, and uh, the maps um, that I'm using now, all in the description. Um, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Spaß machen Rennsport.